Fertility awareness methods symptothermal. Fertility awareness methods are a way for women to prevent pregnancy. By using this method, women can keep track of their menstrual cycles and stay away from unprotected vaginal intercourse during their high fertile times. There are three different ways to use this method, and most of them use more than just one way. The temperature method, the cervical mucus method, and the calendar method. The temperature method is when women take their temperature orally or by rectum on a daily basis. To be sure the reading is close to correct, it should be done every morning as soon as you wake up before you get out of bed, talk, eat, drink, or even have sex. The thermometer needs to stay in place for five minutes. After the five minutes is up, you need to chart the temperature shown. Make sure that the temperature is read within one-tenth of a degree. After each day's reading, you will begin to see a pattern. It will rise in temperature suddenly or gradually or just by steps. This pattern can vary cycle to cycle. Stress, illness, jet lag, and smoking can cause your body temperature to change. When you first try to read your chart, you should have a doctor or a nurse help you. Don't rely on this until after three months of charting. Another way is the cervical mucus method. Hormones that control your cycle also make the cervix, cervix produce mucus. This mucus is contained on the cervix and in the vagina. Before and during ovulation, this changes the quality and the quantity. Many women can learn to recognize these changes during your menstrual cycle. Your flow covers the mucus signs. And after your period, there are usually a few days without mucus. These are also called dry days. These could possibly be the safe days if the cycle is long. The difference between the mucus depends on how close or how far away your period is. You normally have the most mucus right before ovulating, and this mucus looks clear like a raw egg white and is very slippery. When it's at the peak days for fertility, the mucus becomes stretchable and able to stretch between the fingers. People call these days the slippery days. After four slippery days, you may suddenly have less mucus. This mucus will become cloudy and tacky, and each day you should track the, the period cloudy tacky, dry, or, and slippery days. Between each stage, your mucus may be different. If there are any questions about this method, speak to someone who has experience with it. And the last method is the calendar method, where you keep track of the length of every menstrual cycle in order to determine when you are fertile. First day, first cycle day, one of each cycle, and count the number of days that each cycle lasts, including the first day. Do this for 8 to 12 cycles to be fully accurate. When using this method, you shouldn't consider this, to, this the right choice if your cycles are shorter than 27 days. In order to predict the first fertile day in your current cycle, find the shortest cycle record. Subtract 18 from the total number of days and then count the number of days from day 1 of your current cycle and mark that day with an X or a star. Once again, include day 1 in your count. The day that you marked with an X or a star is your fertile day. To predict your last fertile day in your current cycle, you should find the longest cycle in your record, subtract 11 days from the total number of days, and count the number of days from day 1 of the current cycle and mark that day with an X or a star. This day that is marked is the last fertile day. Between the first and the last fertile day, you should either abstain from sex or use other barrier methods. These methods are not completely accurate, so other contraceptive methods should be in place. I would recommend my friend to use the calendar method just so they were aware of their periods and any discomfort that they had. But I wouldn't re recommend the temperature method or the cervical mucus method. I don't completely feel the temperature method is accurate. I personally use the calendar method just to keep track of my periods.